Welcome to the hybrid public information meeting for the bridge from Veracruz to Bridge Replacement Project. You can't hear you? Can't hear me, huh? Okay, can I be heard now? Better. Okay. Okay, welcome to the uh, hybrid public information meeting for the, the Barracuda Bridge Replacement Project. Uh, this project is located between the Middle Way and Cuyacic Road in New Smyrna. We appreciate you taking the time to learn about the project and providing feedback to us. My name is Chris Dabson and I'm the FDOT project manager. And tonight we also have consultant staff as well as FDOT staff with us. This meeting will be recorded and will be available to watch by December 5th by going to the website, a web page for the project on Central Florida website, www.cflroads.com. We've also provided the PDF of the presentation and script that can be downloaded to your computer during the webinar. You can find it under handouts under the menu on the right side of your screen. Also found in that section are comment forms that you can download for later use. For those who are attending in person, you may find the comment forms at the sign-in table over there. Please note that all attendees attending virtually will remain in listen-only mode throughout the meeting. If you have any questions, we ask you that you type in the questions or comments that you have in the question box that appears to the right side of your screen. Other opportunities for input will also be outlined during the presentation. Our team will put together a list of responses and will be uploaded to the project website uh, in a few days time. If you're listening to this on the webinar by phone and do not have access to the computer, we ask that you please contact us by phone or email. The contact information will be provided to you, provided to you later in the webinar. We also will send a follow-up email to everyone who registers for this webinar with contact information for the project. With that, we will now begin the presentation. Here's Eric Troll from our Public Engagement Consulting Group. All right, thank you very much, Chris. Let me get going here. So um, first off, I want to, uh, to thank everybody for taking the time to attend this evening. Uh, my name is Eric Troll. I'm a communication uh, consultant with the Florida Department of Transportation. Uh, and I'll be walking you through a short uh, presentation regarding, Ooh, I'm having some audio troubles here. Hold on just one second, I apologize. The fun of, being virtual. All right, it's not 2020 unless we have a little bit of fun with technology. Thank you for bearing, bearing with us here. All right, and we're back. Uh, so I was saying, uh, my name is Eric Troll. I'm a, a consultant, a uh, communications consultant with uh, the Florida Department of Transportation. Uh, I'll be walking you through a short presentation regarding the proposed changes uh, on the Barracuda Bridge replacement in New Samirna Beach of Volusia County. Uh, on behalf of the department, I wanna thank you for taking a few minutes from your day to learn more about this project. Uh, the financial project identification number is 43. 
35-1. Uh, and the project manager that we just met uh, is Mr. Chris Dapson. Public participation at this meeting is solicited without regard to uh, race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, family status, uh, and should you wish to express any concerns regarding FDOT compliance with Title VI, uh, please contact either Jennifer Smith, the District 5 Title VI coordinator by phone at 386-943-5367, by email at jennifer.smith, the number two, uh, at dot.state.fl.us, or by mail addressed to District 5 Title VI coordinator uh, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 506, Deland, Florida, 32720. Uh, or you can contact Jacqueline Paramore, the State 6 Title Coordinator, using the contact information shown here. Uh, contact details are also posted near the sign-in table for those attending in person. Uh, so as you just saw with our little technology snafu, uh, this presentation is being broadcast virtually uh, shown in person at the Brandon Center uh, and will be made uh, available on the project's website shortly, shortly after the close of the public meeting. Uh, however you're participating, uh, we welcome your questions and comments, uh, and there are several ways that you can, uh, can, can get involved and provide feedback on either uh, these projects virtually or, uh, or uh, in person here. Uh, for those joining virtually, you can provide a comment at the question window during this virtual public meeting. Uh, you can also download a comment form to your computer and send it back to the address shown on the form. Uh, for those of us, uh, or for those joining us in person, uh, comment forms are made available at the sign-in table. Uh, you can fill one out now, uh, or you can uh, take one with you and return it uh, by mail at a later time. Uh, you may also contact the FDOT project manager, uh, Chris Dapson, directly by email at Chris dot Dapson, and that's D-A-B-S-O-N, at D-O-T dot state dot F-L dot U-S, uh, or by phone at 386-943-5227. So as we mentioned, uh, this project location is Barracuda Boulevard between Kia CC and the Middle Way in New Samirna Beach uh, in Volusia County. Uh, the bridge spans the Canal Bradino uh, adjacent to the Indian River North. Uh, the Florida Department of Transportation is designing, uh, obtaining right-of-way easements and building the bridge for uh, the city of New Smyrna Beach by way of a locally funded agreement. So we are making these changes uh, to replace the 55-year-old limited capacity bridge, uh, which was originally constructed in 1965. Uh, the current bridge is limited to a six-ton vehicle capacity, uh, while the proposed bridge will be able to support all vehicle and utility loads. Uh, additionally, the proposed bridge design includes a new eight-foot pedestrian walkway uh, that will connect to trails uh, planned for a later time. Uh, and the lifespan of the new bridge is expected to be 75 years. Over the next few slides, we'll take a look at uh, the existing bridge as well as the proposed bridge design from three different perspectives. Uh, so examining the bridge, uh, the existing bridge uh, designed from the overhead plan view, uh, we can see the divided structures, uh, the existing bridge, as well as the re relatively small canal opening. Uh, the proposed bridge will be shifted approximately 10 feet north uh, to accommodate an 85 foot span, uh, increasing the width of the canal below. On the right side of the bridge, uh, or the right side of the screen rather, uh, the limits of the existing structure show the distance that the canal is being increased. Uh, the pedestrian portion uh, of the bridge has also been improved and is now two feet wider, uh, eight feet total width, uh, and features improved concrete railings over the span. Uh, finally, to uh, protect the slope of the shore, uh, rubble will be added around the base of the bridge uh, walls below the water surface, uh, and we'll show this in more detail in just a few minutes. So looking at the existing bridge section, uh, we essentially cutting the bridge down the middle, uh, you can see that the, the bridge's structure and layout uh, has two 11-foot lanes uh, and a separate six-foot sidewalk. 
uh, on the proposed bridge, the 11 foot lanes remain, uh, but motorists now have a two and a half foot shoulder on each side of the bridge. Uh, pedestrian pathways are also expanded by two feet, uh, as mentioned, uh, with an eight foot overall width. Uh, with the improved features, uh, the structure is still less than four feet wider than the current bridge. For our third view, uh, we'll look at the, uh, the bridge from the east side looking west. Uh, the existing bridge has a span over the Canal Bradino of about 50 feet. Uh, with a clear channel width of 46 feet. Uh, the mean high uh, water vertical clearance of the bridge is about 6.7 feet. The proposed bridge uh, has a length of 80 or a span length of 85 feet uh, with a clear channel width of 47 feet, uh, one foot larger than the previous design, uh, and a total canal width between the bulkheads uh, right at 75 feet. Uh, the mean high water vertical clearance of the bridge is about 7.6 feet, uh, so just shy of a foot more clearance than the previous design. Uh, and the canal depth will remain uh, at approximately 10 feet. Uh, the design features uh, improved bridge approaches, uh, a segmental block wall, uh, improved traffic railings, uh, precast uh, concrete seawall, and bank shore uh, rubble riplap slope protection. Uh, so just a quick comparison of the two designs, uh, we can see that the existing bridge uh, behind the proposed bridge, uh, and here you can really uh, see the difference in, in span uh, distance, height, uh, overall, and, and overall improvements are, are far more clear. And before moving on, just one final look at the proposed bridge design. So in addition to, uh, to the proposed bridge replacement, uh, a number of other improvements are also included in the project. So on uh, Barracuda Boulevard at the intersection of the middle way, uh, the proposed bridge construction is enhanced by the widening and the reconstruction uh, of the roadway. Uh, this is displayed on the rendering here with diagonal lines. Uh, closer to the intersection of the middle way, the roadway uh, will be repaved and is displayed as an X hash. Uh, and the paved shoulder will also be widened, which is displayed here as a, a group of three short diagonal lines. Uh, curbs will also be installed on the bridge approach as well as enhanced drainage. Uh, and additionally, the existing sidewalk will be repaved as an eight-foot pedestrian pathway uh, to later connect to future trail. Uh, ADA detectable uh, warning pads will be installed here as well. On the uh, north side of the Barracuda Bridge, uh, on Barracuda Boulevard, it is being uh, realigned to improve the uh, approach to the bridge. Uh, with that, widening and reconstruction of the roadway will extend uh, to just south of Kia CC intersection, uh, which again is displayed with diagonal lines. Uh, Barracuda Boulevard will be repaved from the Kia CC intersection to just south of the Marine Discovery Center entrance, uh, and the eight-foot pathway uh, and ADA detectable warnings continue north of the bridge as well. So during uh, construction of the Barracuda Bridge, uh, Barracuda Boulevard will be closed from the middle way to, uh, to Kia CC. Uh, res residential access will be maintained on Barracuda Boulevard. Uh, and for all other traffic, uh, a detour is planned utilizing North Causeway uh, and Kia CC. Uh, this includes residents of Dolphin Cove, uh, Venetian Village, Vilas, uh, and the, the community of Venetia, um, as well as the, the Marine uh, Discovery Center and their visitors. Uh, for those on the middle way, uh, no access interruptions are expected. Uh, however, navigation to any properties on Kia CC will also require the detour uh, utilizing North Causeway uh, to access uh, Kia CC. Uh, access to the Marine Discovery Center uh, will be maintained throughout the, uh, the temporary detour. Um, to reduce needed detour times as, mu as much as possible, we have incorporated accelerated uh, bridge design techniques. Uh, and we expect the detour to be in place between 20 and 24 months. 
there is an ongoing traffic study uh, at the, the Kia CC and North Causeway uh, T intersection uh, to determine if a temporary traffic signal is needed with, uh, with these detours. Uh, in the final phase of the project, uh, the resurfacing of the intersection at Barracuda Boulevard uh, and Kia CC um, through traffic access will be maintained at all times. Uh, pedestrian detours, they share a similar path, uh, utilizing the sidewalk on the west side of Barracuda Boulevard, uh, the north side of North Causeway, uh, in the west and north sides of Kia CC. Uh, and a pedestrian detour is expected to be in place for approximately 20 to 24 months as well. Uh, water access, uh, or, I'm sorry, we expect water access uh, to be generally available uh, throughout construction. Uh, however, there will be limited access uh, in the construction zone uh, for safety on occasion. Uh, during these brief uh, closures, uh, voters are encouraged to use the channel below North Causeway uh, to access uh, Indian River North. Uh, caution is encouraged as the mean high water vertical uh, clearance uh, or the average clearance between the, the water uh, and the, the bottom of the bridge is less than the current Barracuda Bridge. So design considerations have been taken to reduce impacts to, uh, to nearby properties. Uh, design considerations have also been taken to reduce uh, vibrations. Uh, five properties adjacent to the east side of the bridge will be monitored. Um, and condition surveys for these properties will be conducted uh, prior to and after construction. Uh, in addition, during non-working hours, uh, no equipment, vehicles, or materials uh, will be stored within 30 feet of the roadway carrying traffic. Uh, and a storage area will be utilized. Uh, finally, the existing bridge, once demolished, uh, will be donated to the Volusia County Artificial Reef Program. Uh, the program, in place since 1980, uh, builds reefs offshore from the, the Ponce de Leon Inlet. Uh, the project is currently in the design phase through late 2021. Uh, the construction phase is, is currently anticipated to begin in spring of 2022. Uh, at an estimated cost of 3.9 million. Uh, the improvements will be constructed entirely within the existing right of way, uh, and therefore no property uh, acquisition will be required. Uh, for more information and more detailed exhibits, uh, everything that we've seen here, uh, you may visit the property, or I'm sorry, the project website uh, by going to cflroads.com and searching for the project number 4379. 35-1 uh, in the search bar. As a reminder, uh, please contact with any us with any questions uh, or comments that you may have. Uh, for those joining virtually, you can provide a comment in the question window for a few minutes longer during this virtual public meeting. Uh, you can also download a comment form to your computer and send it back to the address shown on the form. Uh, for those of you that are joining us in person, uh, comment forms are made available at the sign-in table. Uh, you may fill one out now and return it to the comment box or take it with you and uh, mail it in at a later time. Uh, everyone may also contact the uh, FDOT project manager uh, directly, uh, Chris Dapson once again, uh, by email at chris.dapson. And again, that's D-A-B-S-O-N at D-O-T dot state dot F-L dot U-S or by phone at 386-943-5227, uh, or by mail addressing your comments to Chris Dabson. Uh, one last time, that's D-A-B-S-O-N, uh, P-E, Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 545, and that's the land Florida 32720. And with that, I uh, greatly appreciate you all spending uh, a few minutes with us this evening. I uh, wish you uh, all a great evening and thank you for attending this public meeting. With that, we'll, we'll leave the floor open digitally for, uh, for any questions or comments and those in person uh, by all means may speak with the uh, project staff, but thank you all for attending.
Again, for those who are joining us virtually, thank you for attending the Barracuda Bridge public information meeting. Um, we will leave Chris's contact information up on the screen for just a few more minutes. We do encourage you to enter your questions or comments into the question pane. The project team will be responding to any questions or comments that are submitted after this meeting. Also, as a reminder for those who are attending virtually, um, all of the information presented this evening is on our project website at www.cflroads.com. Simply search the project number 437935-1. You'll be able to find a copy of the presentation. This, the recording of this meeting will be posted within a few days and other project handouts are on the website as well. We'll leave the question, um, the virtual meeting open for just a few more minutes. For those who would like to ask a question um, or submit a comment, please do so using the question pane. Thank you.
Again, thank you all for joining us um, for this public information meeting. If you would like to make a comment, we do encourage you to um, download a comment form and send it back to us, submit a question in the question box, um, or contact Mr. Dabson directly. I'll show his contact information one more time. We will be closing this virtual part of the meeting in just a few minutes. All of the information presented will be available on our website at www.cflroads.com. Search the project number 437-935-1. Thank you all and have a wonderful evening.